Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead Season 2. When we left off last time, we finished Episode 1. So here we're going into Episode 2 and already it's titled A House Divided. So that just tells you right there. The group we're in, it's a crappy group. This isn't a good place for Clem. Ugh. We'll see how it goes. Rebecca's going to be trouble for sure. Previously. Yeah, last time we did find our backpack again. We found a bunch of guys that had been shot up, and they were the ones that split up us and Krista out in the woods. We found a guy who hadn't died, but he didn't tell us where Krista was. That fella right there. So we still don't know what's going on with Krista. There's some kind of Carver guy everyone needs to be worried about, but we still don't know who Carver is, because no one will tell us. Luke is turning into a friend, and so is Pete. But Nick and Rebecca there. I mean, Nick's a half and half friend, although he ran off, so I don't know if we even have him so, anymore. Rebecca's a problem. Alvin seems pretty much he's just going to go along with whatever Rebecca says. I'm thinking about moving on. Yeah, we're thinking about moving on as soon as we can. Luke says you're welcome to stay here, but a lot of other people do not want us there. Carlos said stay Think away from it. his daughter. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. We were nice. We gave him water. He still didn't tell us what happened. Pete I'm got fine. bit. I'm fine. It's low on the ankle. Just, just lost my footing. So with any luck, we can try cutting off his foot and see if it saves him. Come this way. Damn it, you get your asses over here. Both of we you. had to make a choice. We went with Pete. Nick panicked and ran off. So we'll see how it all plays out. I'm a little worried that if we do come across Nick, then... He's going to be all bitter about this situation and be, like, more of an active enemy. Nick! God damn it! Nick! We have to go! Okay, and that pretty much catches us up. So, where are we going to go? What's the plan, Pete? guys, let's jump right into the game. What is this? Oh, didn't tell me Clem and Nick are, or, uh, Pete are in there. We are. This is... Well... Well, they shouldn't be able to get through that. Yeah, but we're stuck. On the downside, we can't get through them. And you are wounded. We gotta do something about that fast. If we've got any chance of it working out. What are you looking at? Take a guess. Staring at What are you going to do? Oh, there you go. Hand me that there. He's gonna need help. He's not gonna be able to saw off his own foot. It's worth a shot, I guess. I got nothing to lose. Other than my Piggly Wigglies, of course. Uh, I think we're gonna need to help him, Clem. <gasps> Ooh, all the way up at the knee? Uh, bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Well, we gotta work out Hell. something. Just, just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. Do either of you know how to tie a tourniquet? We can try it I'll out. I'll try to find something to help. All right, we'll go ahead and take a look at that. We're not touching it because there's all kinds of nasties outside. Well, maybe just leave it be. I'll dig into the backpack. What's in this box? Red and gold original flavor, huh? Anything we can use? <laughs> Give me one of those. Eh, may as well. Probably tastes like pine tar by now. 
But I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. Now, if he wants to, he can knock himself out. You got a light? I'm not going to deny a very possibly well, dying man a cigarette if he wants it. That tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? Keep looking. We wait. Oh, no, let me keep looking. Oh, come on. Maybe there was something important in the backpack. You can't stop now. Well, hopefully someone from the group will come out and take a look for us since we've all been gone for so long. Or perhaps Nick will find his way around to us. Oh boy. I might need it. Oh, are we going to lose him? Crap. The rest of the group will be even more resentful if we do. something funny I've been thinking and I don't want to die <laughs> well you're not looking too good colors off oh, that's never where it starts I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that but there it is well most I'm people don't want to die Jesus I'm scared you're going to be okay. He's not, oh, but what else are we going to say? Spare me the bedside bullshit. All right, then. Sorry. Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? Oh, boy. I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. You're dying, man. He's I'm not going to deny him, that. But he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. What are you suggesting then? Where are you going? He's gonna draw him off her. Oh. I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. Oh, he's a good guy. You're coming with me. He's not, to but... what? Die a couple hours later than now? To say goodbye to Nick. All right. Oh, I didn't think that actually convinced him. I'll try. Well, if we can, that's better, though. Well, like my daddy used to say, <clears throat> we're burning daylight. Let's get this over with. Are we just going to charge out there and go for it? Alright, Clem, be prepared. If the worst comes down to it, let him sacrifice himself. And you go. Well, that didn't last long. This ain't gonna work. Go on now. Find my nephew. You have to try. I said go! God damn it, go! Alright, we gotta go, Clem. We did our best. I mean, I suppose if you gotta go, that's not too bad of a way to go. At least he's saving somebody. We're gonna get so much crap from all of these guys, though.
Oh, great. Two people who hate us. Clementine, are you all right? Not really. Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? They didn't come what out happened? with us. It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. Well, I mean, God. obviously, what else would bite him? Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Oh, now she's gonna blame me for Damn it. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. We should she go with you. Nervous. Well, we should go with you. It's too dangerous. You'll be safe inside. Mm. Just don't open the doors for anything. Really? We'll be back soon. This seems like a terrible idea. You guys all just running out wherever and just me and your overly sheltered child left here together. Say cheese. I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Yeah, all right. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. There you go. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? Well, she should know what's going on. You should know what's going on. He told you not to tell me, didn't he? Yep. He is in trouble. Oh my gosh. What happened? Clem? Well, everyone's gone. It's bad. Sorry, I, I, I just need to... Okay. Just take it easy. Yeah, this isn't really fair on her at all. What was he expecting? A situation yeah, like this happens, and what does he expect her... How does he expect her to be able to handle it if he never... Ooh. Can you show me how to use it? I yeah, I will. Still, you if need to know how. Wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Yeah. Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um... I don't know. <laughs> I thought it'd be heavier. Okay. What do I do? The most important thing is, always aim for the head. Okay. Unless it's a person trying to hurt you, then what do I do? Just keep shooting. What should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s sorry Sorry! Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back. Oh, hey. Good deal. Are we sure it's Luke? I kind of want to wander around a bit, but I think we've got to head to the door. What if it's not Luke? I'm feeling suspicious because it haven't hasn't given us a clear view of this person. I don't know what Luke was wearing to know if it's him or not. That's not Luke. All right. Well then. Clem, I think I know him. Well, we're not opening he up. Can't see me. You have to make him go away. What? Why can't he see you? Well, oh. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Calm down, calm down. Shh. You'll be okay. Don't go to the door, Clem. Just let him knock. Hello. We 
Anybody home? No, don't open the door. Lock the door. Oh! <gasps> Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> well, my name is George, honey. Mm. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? Uh, yeah. Yes, I do mind. I don't know you. You don't get to just come in. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Just me and and Dad. Yeah. What's his name? Ed. Strong name. I like him already. Where is he? He's out. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. A Spanish guy and his daughter. Uh -huh. girl, a bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. Who is this guy that they're so afraid of him? This must be Carver. They struck out and they don't want him to know where they're at. It's a lot of plates for two people. It's like a tornado ran through here. Well, maybe we don't yeah, like washing well, dishes. I'm supposed to be doing the dishes. Just passing through, or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Where do you live? Yeah, down by the river there. There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitch camp. Got a few tents up and everything else. Like I said, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. Do you have a dog? No, I don't. What difference does it make? Just wondering. I was worried if I lunged for it before. Uh... Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. Maybe I should have gone for it, but it's an aggressive act. If we're lucky, he might just head out. But if I'd well, lunged for the nice knife, kind of cozy. then he might would have attacked. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Lots of people Doctor. wear shirts like that. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later... People close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Not really. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? It was what? Oh, he's gonna find her. I thought you said nobody's here. I didn't hear anything. Oh boy. Okay, we gotta figure out something, Clem. We don't want him shooting Sarah. This weirdo guy who won't get out of our house. Obviously he's bad news. Told you nobody's here. Now get out of my house. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who 
was this? It must be someone who lived here. Must be. Get out of my house, weirdo. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Not at all. What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, the trust has to start somewhere. I don't especially trust them, but... Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Well, no, now that the jig is up, I'm curious. Why shouldn't I trust them? You have a real good day now. Hmm. Well, that was an interesting way for him to play it. Sarah, you're gonna need to tell me what you know about that fella. Where is he? Says He's he left. Gone. What if he comes back? Well, who was he in the first place? Give me some information here. We need to find the others. We need to Did know who that guy outside? was. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. It's... I'm with you. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? No, I didn't open calm the door down, for him. Becca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? No, Maybe but... Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well. Well, yeah, he did say it was George, but... Did he say his name? Yeah, but I think he was lying. What? I thought he said his name was George. George? Yeah, but Look, he knew who you guys were. Tell us what he looked like. Yeah, why didn't you ask me that in the first it? place? Did he sound different? How old was he? He had a mustache. Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um, it was droopy. He talked about you, Dad. He did. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not going to do anything crazy or not nice, right? What has he done in the past? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? Probably. He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? I thought we were friends. Oh, I didn't mean it's come off that way. I was just trying to scouting. give you some more honesty about the way no, your dad nothing. acts. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Oh, so maybe well, I'm pretty useful he was after all, huh? Around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Uh, would you guys mind telling me what's going on? We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave this camp? Because we had to. That's not really much of an answer. Glenn, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Well, what was so bad about Look, it? I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. You need to give you me something more concrete than this. Honestly, at this point, him. I'm a little torn. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? N he's yeah. a lost cause. All right. Everybody this sucks, but he is. The road. You said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. Did not expect an apology out of her. It's time right now with the pregnancy and all. You're using it as an, you a crutch. You can probably relate. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. Uh, yeah, but now I mean it's you. It's a long story. Pete. He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. 
I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Ah, uh, yeah. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Oh, here we go. Oh. There. That's where we were. It's not going to be good news. Careful, Nick. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Hope we get a chance to talk to Nick open, and tell him the things Pete said to us about how he really does love on him and that's why he's hard on him. Something to maybe help him feel a little better and maybe calm down. Oh, he did cut it off. He must have, he must have tried cutting it off himself. No way could he survive. Uncle Pete. All right, we're past time, but I got it. I gotta see. Is he a zombie back here, or did he make it? See him? It's so foolish to hope, but... Um... Oh. I was hoping he cut his leg off and all the blood was from his leg. Oh my god. This is the more realistic thing to what happen. What happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. Huh? He didn't have a gun. Someone's been through here, guys. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Let go, Luke. Let him do whatever he's gotta do. He's trying to say goodbyes. I liked Pete, but tell me. As we know, all our allies are gonna die. Happened. The last thing he said was he wanted to say goodbye to you. Fuck. Come on now, Nick. You gotta keep up with the group. I'm Sorry. About that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? Everybody you, keeps saying that. Sorry, you still want to come with us? Not really. Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're going to have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. I don't know. I think I'm going to have a better chance of ending up dead I with you guys than on my own. we five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? <laughs> It's gonna be okay, but We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. All right. And now we have a convenient autosave. Five days later. I'm gonna go ahead and wind the episode down here. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll see how the team's doing. and We're, we're stuck with them for now, so... I mean, at least Beck is being a little nicer. That's something. I still don't like her, but I, I don't know. I have, to, I do have to say, both her and Nick made terrible first impressions, but I'm impressed that they did both turn around and apologize after the fact. You know, that's better than anything we ever got out of Lily or Larry, so... They, I'll try not to be too judgmental. They might be okay. We'll see.